with Season 1, Episode 2 of Loki. And I say Season 1 because I know there's going to be Season 2 because Disney confirmed it themselves. Last week was the premiere and what an interesting concept this has turned out to be. Because the Disney shows we've had so far, they've all been... I was about to say they've all been heroes, but then again, Winter Soldier used to be a villain. And it was about him. But we've had him as a villain and a hero before. But this is taking Loki, someone who... And bear in mind what, what time zone Loki this is, what time period he's from. This is him at his peak villain level and taking him out of that and put making him into the hero role. So basically fast-tracking all the stuff we got from Thor Dark World, Thor Ragnarok and Avengers Infinity War. He's fast-tracking all that. And literally because he last week he saw exactly what his fate will be. He saw the events of his life as what's about to happen. You'd think that it would have pushed him towards more the villain side. Well, his death would have pushed him more towards the villain side because he died trying to do something heroic. But I suppose the mother point with Frigga, Frigga, whatever her name is, the mother, I assume that's what's really tipping him towards the hero side. I guess now he's being brought in by Agent Mobius. Oh, wow. To be a honorary member of the TVA, the Time Variance Authority. Hmm. Because apparently they're tracking a, a killer, a serial killer, who's been killing all of their Minutemen throughout different time periods. And they say it's Loki that's... They say it's another version of Loki who's doing it, but I'm not really convinced. Not completely convinced just yet, because... Okay, they told us it's Loki, so we're supposed to think it's Loki, but then they showed the person that is supposed to be Loki, but they wouldn't show his face. Like, you've told us it's Loki, we're supposed to think it's Loki, so why would you just not show that it's Loki? That's that's my query right now. They had Infinity Stones last episode as well. A lot of them, using them as paperweights apparently, because they don't affect the TVA. They don't... I am, is this in a different dimension? Because I know the stones don't work in, when they're in a different dimension. And I, I pointed it out in the editing of my last video as well, the premiere... Um, Talking about a long time ago, there was a bunch of wars between different timelines. Isn't there a little Marvel story called Secret Wars? There was about that. At least that's what my friends tell me. Hmm. Is that possibly hinting at the next big Marvel event? The next Infinity War slash Endgame event? Because it's a good step up. But then again, what do you do for your next step up after that? If you, if you get that far. But there's no reason to assume the MCU won't go that far because there is no stopping it at the moment. I remember a long time ago, I told I told my friends, like, after Infinity War and Endgame, I think the MCU is going to go a bit downhill. But it's definitely not. It's definitely not. I thought the MCU would just tell its story all the way up till Endgame and then after that it would fizzle out. But it's definitely not done that. But yeah, let's just get on with what is supposed to be going on in Season 1, Episode 2 of Loki, starting now. What time is this? 85. Okay, it's a bit more recent than I thought it would be. It's, they just come, they just come through. It's amazing that they just come through and they don't even try to hide. What the hell is this? You just mentally control her. Yep. Jesus! Well, that disposed of them. I'm probably gonna have to mute that or something just so that I don't get copyrighted. Because My Hero Academia, the finale of season two, is giving me problems right now. Look at him, all dressed up. He looks good. Which kind of Loki remains unknown? They're the lesser kind, to be fair. 
of course. The superior is in front of you. Varian. Yeah, he is. But very subtle. Well done. PBA has pruned a lot of these guys, almost more than any other variant. And no two are alike. Slight differences in appearances or not so slight. Well, if, if you leave this tent, you'll end up like them. Prove your worth, Loki. You underestimate me. Just as you underestimate this lesson, Loki. Which is why you walk into one wolf's mouth after another. Two units. He is wasting our time. Come on, look, you make a long story short. We need to look for C20. Well, that's exactly what the variant wants you to do. He's lying. Just playing games. There's no one out there. We set the timeline. Damn, they were sick. My ears are sharp, too. Okay. Okay, so that's what they do now. Okay. Do you really believe in this variant? Luckily, he believes in himself enough for the both of us. And hey, if it doesn't work, that was your first lesson in catching a Loki. Expect the expected. You see, half the fun of being a trickster is knowing everyone knows you're a trickster, and then many of your tricks can come from exploiting the fact that you know that they know. Just shut up. Reverse psychology. Now I'm stuck with this guy who will start yakking away about what makes a Loki tick. But isn't that precisely why I'm here? Yeah, I mean, that's what you I wanted. Care. I've been playing a game of my own for the long. Yeah, what was it? Charm your way in front of the timekeepers, hustle them, and seize control of the TVA. Am I getting warm? A double cross by... <laughs> <laughs> He's got him. What is my desperate last chance required? Work. Work. Well, he's not used to that. Action of Asgard. Yep, Ragnarok. Entire civilization eliminated. Oh, is he crying? Oh, casualties in the 9,000s. He's crying. Zero, zero variance energy. It means it was supposed to happen. He's hiding in apocalypses. Ragnarok. Are you familiar? Yeah. The destruction of Asgard and most of its people. Yes, it's very sad. Anyway, it got me thinking. If everything and everyone around you is destined for imminent destruction, then nothing that I say or do will matter. Because the timeline's not going to branch. Because it gets destroyed. Hence, the variant could be hiding in the apocalypse and do whatever he wants and we wouldn't know. You don't trust me, you trust one thing. I love to be right. That's very true. Very true. Pompey? You know exactly when this is. It's probably the only time Pompey's really known for. Really? I'm dead. It's awkward to watch. We are from the future, right? What is the TVA? I mean, it's from the future. It sounds from the future. Pretty futury. Yeah. <laughs> right on cue! How do we do? I don't believe it. Zero variance energy, no branching in the timeline. TVA would never even know we were here. If it were me, this is where I would hide. Yeah. Let's go. I love how Loki's proving his worth. Kaboom. Oh, What's that? Candy. Candy on Asgard? Yeah. Grapes, nuts. Mm, you're so better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Louis was only sold regionally on Earth from 2047 to 2051. All you gotta do is cross reference that with every apocalyptic event. Yeah, let's play for pride. Okay, yeah, best move. Go. Play for pride then. <laughs> it's probably the only thing they've got. Uh, got it. That's where he is. Alabama 2050. I'm gonna take my job. This is where we nail the variant. I mean, there's still four episodes left, so probably not. Absolutely not. Oh. <sighs> Look at this. I wonder if this stuff is actually going to happen in the future. 
Imagine if an actual fucking hurricane hits this place in 2050. two together on their own. What's gonna happen? He's here! You left them a bit of time, 20 minutes. Careful you don't just disintegrate him. Oh, hello! Take control. You're the fool the TVA brought in to hunt me down. Me, I presume. <laughs> How nice to meet you. Oh. Wow. It's like... It's like Azel from... Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm going to overthrow the timekeepers. I could use a qualified lieutenant. I assume you mean... Me. What say you? If you... Loki. If it's Loki, he's not going to accept lieutenant. I'm not interested in ruling the time variance authority. Okay. So what's your end game? Oh. What do you give away? The timekeepers, where they are. I gave it away how to find them. Took your eyes off him. <laughs> I miss Randy. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Hitting him with a hoover. <laughs> this must be a massive story if no one's hearing this. I, I lost. What happened? I, I... Looks like your favorite Loki betrayed you. It's just boom. It's just looking like Loki. It looks like our Loki is just getting more guilty every second. There's the one. Oh! This isn't about you. Hello. Right. Okay, that that twenty minutes was up. Oh, they're going. They're going to all different timelines. Oh God. Jesus Christ. Somebody just bombed the sacred timeline. Wow. And by killing them all in se separate attacks, you've been leaving them short-staffed. Wow! Wow, 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 wow. Was that fun? Oh god, that was such an intriguing episode. Very intriguing. So little action as well. But it's not about the action really, is it? It's the psychology of it. The mystery. Uh, I wrote down I need a hero, but I'm probably gonna have to censor that bit out of the reaction so I don't get copyright claimed. What was the purpose of abducting that one though? Oh, needed... She needed her... She needed that agent to tell them, tell her where the, where the timekeepers were. So, I'm guessing that's where she's going. And that's why Loki's, that's where our Loki's following her to, because he wants an audience with the timekeepers. Basically, sh showcasing the all the different Lokis in the beginning. I mean, we should have, should have expected a female Loki. Only, only had one horn though on her little crown. Hang on. There's a bit. There is a. There is a Marvel character who's also a DC character. 
not the same character, but they've got the same name. But let me look up what she looks like. And then I'll see if that's her. It could be. I'm not going to see who it is, but it could be this person. I'm not really seeing a... Well, it it looks like it, but the comic book pictures I'm seeing of her, of her right now suggest it doesn't look like her, but if they're actually doing that for this show, then I'm not surprised that they might have redesigned her a little bit. I'm not going to say who it is, though. I'll wait for you to figure it out. But I've loved Loki proving his worth here, proving his expertise, like this is what I would do. This is where your variant is hiding. I love that. Working out because Loki read about Ragnarok. Imagine, imagine that though. Reading about the destruction of your your people, your your home and stuff. He was crying. He shed a tear there. Um, how many times do we see Loki shed tears? A bit, a bit inaccurate though, because apparently it, <laughs> total annihilation of the people. But it's not because they're still. They're still around, being ruled by Valkyrie now. So it's not total annihilation of the the Asgardian people, but nine, over nine thousand, which is still a significant amount. But yeah, that gave Loki the idea that it you're very is hiding in disasters, in natural disasters, in world. In I was gonna say world ending, but they didn't end the world. There was nothing world ending natural disasters where a place gets wiped out and everything is destroyed hence the little trip to pompeii where loki was just screwing with shit <laughs> they they te it was complete com it was very risky but they did it loki was just they did it to prove loki wrong basically and loki was so convinced of it that he loves being proved he's right so yeah, Pompeii, Loki was just messing with a bunch of shit and telling people about the future, but there was no branches happening because it's not going to affect anything. Because everyone everyone that you're telling about this shit and all the shit that you're fucking up was about to be blown up anyway. So it doesn't matter. It's like telling someone who's about to die next week's lottery numbers, but it doesn't matter. They're not going to win it because they're not going to last that long. That's a bit dark, a bit morbid, but you get where I'm going with it. That just eventually led everything to... The Superstore, combine the natural disasters with the candy that they found last episode, what Kablooey it was called. So combine those two during the time it was sold and natural disasters during that time and they were able to figure out where this Loki was hiding. I love the, the mystery, the detective aspect of it all. It's very interesting. It makes it different from WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier. Because WandaVision was very sitcom, well obviously it was very sitcom but also drama, family drama, a bit of mystery involved. Falcon Winter Soldier, very spy, thriller, action, adventure. This is very mystery, detective stuff. I like it, I like it a lot. God knows who came up with this idea for Loki of all people but we'll take it, we'll definitely take it, it's, it's so good so far. The moment when Loki is talking with the disguised Loki and talking about he wants to rule the he wants to rule the TVA. I mean obviously Loki is being very well behaved this episode that you know he's got a secret agenda but overthrowing the timekeepers, ruling the TVA, is he doing that? Is he telling the complete truth there? Or is he trying to get in with this Loki to find a way in? And he offered he offered this Loki the your your right hand right hand Loki. If it's Loki, Loki is not going to accept being a right hand. You've only got to offer something that you would want. But obviously, you can't offer something that you would want because you want it. So it's a, it's a bit of a problem there. But the, the female Loki's plan was fucking genius. Stealing all of these reset charges. And then you've been killing the you've been killing the Minutemen in all different attacks, so you've left them short staffed for what you're about to do. You've sent so many reset charges to so many different time zones, so many different time places, time periods. 
and like like the guy said in the TVA, they've he's just bombed the timeline because now all every all kinds of shit is going on. Like imagine imagine the kinds of things they would have bombed for this. They would have time bombed for this. Could have killed off the people who discovered the cure to cancer. Imagine the shit that would cause. They could have killed Bill Gates as a baby. Imagine that. Could have killed Tony Stark before he became Iron Man. Imagine that. So there's all there's all different kind of things that this Loki could have done in the MCU timeline in an actual history as well. Ingenious plan, and it only makes Loki our Loki look more guilty in terms of in the eyes of the TVA because Mobius wasn't there to see it and the only person who was sort of there with him was that other agent that woman agent who doesn't trust him already and then she was out in unconscious for most of it and now he's after this time bomb has just happened he's just been seen walking away they haven't even laid eyes on the female Loki yet so all you know, it all the TV knows is the time, the timeline has been bombed, and we've seen Loki run off, and you know that the villain is a Loki. It's not an ideal situation for our Loki right now, unless he finds some way to spin this. Most likely, could be going to the the Timekeepers because that's where the female Loki would be going because she knows where they are now because she's been interrogating that that agent. Makes sense why they didn't reveal the face last episode now. Yes. Very intriguing show this is. Very intriguing. I love it. But I think that's all we've got left for this week of Loki. I've, st I've still got something to do just after this recording. Hopefully I still have time. It's nearly 9 o'clock now. I go to bed at half 11. So yeah, I should have time. But that's all we've got for this week of Loki. A very good episode. Very intriguing show. Until next time, we are over and out. Bye!